I have unlocked and discovered a secret to living in these bodies that we hold. To put it simply, Philip Seymour Hoffman was absolutely fascinating. He may be one of the most brilliant and versatile actors to ever grace the screen. Hoffman's amazing versatility led to him being labeled as a character actor. He was well known for his usually eccentric and always interesting supporting roles, expertly camouflaging himself with various looks and accents. Yeah, you'll find the good lord very flexible on the subject of property. We're different because you are all ashamed of us and we are not ashamed of you. But I feel that calling him a character actor doesn't quite do him justice. And that's the first the thing I had to look at was how were they similar to me and how were they different from me? And I had to cover those bases so I could understand what makes them different and what makes them similar and therefore I could create this person that's not living my life, it's living someone else's life. And so that's just how I've approached it and I guess that maybe people call that character acting but that's just how I approach acting, period. Rain dance! Hoffman could do it all. From goofy comedies to starkly serious dramas, he never once seemed miscast. Then what is it? What? What, 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 did, you, what did you hear? What did you see that convinced you so thoroughly? From his timid and pitiful character in Boogie Nights to playing an aggressive villain in Mission Impossible 3, Hoffman's range was endless. Some of the greatest directors of all time realized this. Hoffman collaborated with Sidney Lumet, the Coen brothers, Spike Lee, and perhaps most notably, five different times with his close friend Paul Thomas Anderson. Hoffman possessed an endless list of talents, but for me, what stands out the most was his uncanny ability to display emotion. He was somehow able to portray even the most over-the-top instances of emotion with unrivaled naturalism. It's not fair! It's not fair! All my life, I've been afraid of becoming like him. All my life, all my life with you, and it's not fair! Many filmmakers used Hoffman's gift to their advantage. Go through some of his scenes and you'll notice that often the camera will linger on him rather than cutting back and forth to cover the other actors during their lines. Why? Because Hoffman simply reacting was some of the best acting we'll ever see. Goodbye. Take this clip from the movie Doubt. Notice how Hoffman receives majority of the coverage even when he is not speaking. Let this alone. No. Take your time, Father. Would you like some more tea? You should have let it alone. This whole segment lasts 124 seconds. Not including wide shots, 77 of those seconds are dedicated to Hoffman. That means the camera is focused on him about 62% of the time in a scene that features two other incredible actors. Granted, Hoffman does more speaking than anyone else in this clip, but the fact that we don't cut away from him is a testament to his ability when it comes to displaying emotion. You can imagine the director and editor not wanting to cut away from this. What I miss most about Philip Seymour Hoffman is how he made me feel. He made me laugh, he made me cry, and he made me appreciate movies more than any other actor. When it came to acting, Philip Seymour Hoffman was an absolute master. I am a writer, a doctor, a nuclear physicist, a theoretical philosopher. But above all, I am a man. Hopelessly inquisitive man, just like you. 